In June that year, a News of the World reporter tipped off Scotland Yard about a drugs and sex orgy at Keith Richards' place and was rewarded with a ring night, ringside seat at the raid. It has become the stuff of legend. Mars, bars, threesomes, Marian faithful, naked under a fur rug, symbol of out of control decadence. The media stopped winking and grinning about swinging London and started wallowing in horror stories about teenagers being led astray. Sergeant Pepper was the world soundtrack that month, and powerful establishment figures were horrified by the implications of influential pop stars' open fondness for drugs. Um, I can see we're getting a little tired. I'm going to compress this a little bit and say that um, the second night that this group Tomorrow played, and Tomorrow, by the way, had Steve Howe on guitar, who was later famous with Yes, and a guy called Twink on drums, who later started a group called the Pink Fairies, which is credited in England for being one of the seminal punk bands from the early 70s, mid, early to mid 70s. And um, we were so outraged by what the news of the world was doing that uh, Twink and I decided that we had to clear the club at 2 o'clock in the morning after their first set and march. Everybody in the club was sort of made into part of this demonstration. We marched through the West End of London chanting and protesting and marched to the News of the World building and accused them of being all kinds of terrible things. And then we came back to the club and at 5 o'clock in the morning at dawn on July 1st they played this amazing set where Twink ended up on a lot with a microphone and a long cord crawling through the audience hugging people and murmuring revolution revolution and they played the, their theme song which is the song called My White Bicycle and uh, which was dedicated to the provosts in Amsterdam who provided free transport for the whole city by painting all these white bicycles white and everybody could use them and then drop them wherever they were going and somebody else could use them to go somewhere else. There were always t supposed to be enough bicycles to go around. Um, and anyway, the, the news of the world then got their revenge a, week, um, a month later by exposing us as a hippie vice den and the police put pressure on the landlord. We had to move. That was pretty much the end of the club, although we, we had a few more months at, at the roundhouse. Um, and it's kind of a metaphor for the beginning of the, of the decline of the ideals and the energy of the 60s. Um, without realizing it, we had started on a downhill slope that was mirrored in New York and San Francisco. The agape spirit of 67 evaporated in the heat of ugly drugs, violence, commercialism, and police pressure. In Amsterdam, people began stealing and repainting the white bicycles. <laughs>